couple of months ago, I made this 5x5 piston door, which closes in 0.45 seconds and opens in 0.9. However, it broke in 1.18.2. So, I have decided to make a new and approved version, which works in all versions 1.16 to 1.19 and above. This is what you're going to need to build this door. These are wall blocks, these are wiring blocks, the oak leaves do not have to be oak, these don't have to be oak either, they can be any type, stairs can also be any type. The activator rail can be a power rail if you would like. The obsidian doesn't have to be obsidian, it could be like furnaces, but has to be solid. You'll also need 30 stackable items. To build this door you're going to need a 6 by 13 area and this is going to go up 11 blocks. To get started with the layout we will go 3 blocks forward and it will be on the 4th block here. Up 3 blocks and then you build the 5x5 five five frame. So, the bottom layout, you have the same double, and you also have a an observer. This will act as the sand in the last one, because the sand is what broke in the last door. You're going to have an observer here in the slider to power that, and a piston to push it back. For the side layout, you'll have two your double extenders here, and the row of pistons here with an updater on top. Then you'll have four normal pistons here with two solid blocks. These can be any block, and four door blocks there. The other side is pretty much the same, however there's going to be one slight difference, and that here, the bottom one is one forward, and then you have the same block set up there. This is one forward so that it doesn't get powered later. Here are the four pistons here with an updater there. For the top layout, we have our folded triple on top, which has an extra piston this side. Two singles on top there. A normal piston there, and then a double there. And then also on this side, a normal piston to push it back. We also have four sliders for the sides. This first one, has a piston, block, observer, rock, and then these four can be whatever. Then piston at the top. The other one over here goes up one block, observer, solid block, four block, and then piston at the top. The other two go down with an observer there, piston, block, four block there, observer, piston there. This one actually goes up one higher than the others, so it can have an observer there, observer there, block, four blocks, and then piston there. Now we're going to start with our input line, which this is where our input is. On that block, we put a dust there, block, sticky piston, redstone block, another sticky piston there. We have a, blo a block there, and then we run this down with an obsidian there, and then dust on that, two slabs there, and then we run a slab tower up, powering these pistons here. Dust on all of these, 
now we have an observer here. Uh, dust bear. Slab. Block. Dust them both. Block bear. Sticky piston. Redstone block. Sticky piston. Sticky piston. Redstone block. Two observers there. Slab. Lamp there. Dust. Block. And then slab tower again. Two block. Wall block. Dust and all of this. And now for the right side here. Start off with a piston here. Block. Redstone block. Block. Redstone block. Block. Piston there. And have our dust here. Which will break it. But this piston there to update it so then grab like a lever it'll fix when we do that now the first timing is the log here log leaves oops observer log dust now for the slider that powers these, we put a piston there, any block, redstone block, three more of any block, stairs there, another stair there, facing in this direction, that way when it's there to update it, any other block, redstone block, observer, block, dust, piston there, then we have observer there, there, and then we have the slab there to power this updater. So when this is I'll update that first, so when this updates, it'll double this so. Okay, so earlier on I put a piston here, so instead of that we put a piston here with a rail. And then to update this here, we have two pistons, sticky piston, redstone block, piston there, and an observer there. Now we put a sticky piston there, a block there, and then we have slab here, block block with a three tick repeater and then an observer here then from this lamp we have three observers and then a no block and now if you test this after first you want to put some obsidian here here and then here in there and then didn't do all the opening but it did a little bit this didn't push over and that's because that needs to be an observer that servers need to be able to set up like that with a dust there now we make the four tick slider here fire the four tick we put a stick piston there, observer, block, observer, block, observer, and a piston there. And then to update this, we have a piston here with an obsidian there. Now you add a piston here and a block. And now you should see that if you press it, it should zero take this forward and then almost.
almost all of the side is done. Now for these sliders that happen at 9 game takes, we're going to need some other pulses that are used for the bottom. So we have two observers there, block, dust, block there, which will push that up at 0.2, but we don't want it to fire in the closing, so we put that there. Also need an updater piston, that way it will push up. Now to push this slider down, we'll need a sticky piston, a hay bale, and then two observers running out from that sticky piston. And that'll push it down at 9 game ticks. Now for the other slider, we'll need a sticky piston, a wool bear, observer, block, block, feeder on one tick, and then to push it up, We'll have two observers there and then a block. However, this will only push it at eight game ticks, so it'll get updated at the bottom at nine game ticks. But for now, to demonstrate it, I'll just have a log, a leaf, and an observer, and that'll update it at nine game ticks. So now, test it out. It should. Yeah, it'll cut it at nine game ticks, and then you'll just push that. Down. That'll get pushed down from an observer here, a block, a peter, and then two observers there and a block. Now, this whole side should be. And now we will go on to the left side, which we'll start by moving this obsidian. And then we'll put our slider here, which we also want a piston there, and a piston there. This piston will stop this from extending on the closing, that way it'll get locked in the down position. And then we have our slider there, blocks there, dust, dust. Lab with dust on it, and then we push down to fix it. And now we will build the slider that powers these. So we put our piston there, block, piston here, any block, redstone block, any block, and then we have two stairs, and those will be used for updating things later. And then we put a piston on top. And now for this to update, we need a stair there, an observer, block, piston, observer, and a staircase going down like that, and then dust. And now, to push this slider down on the closing, we have the same setup with the target, sticky piston, log, leaf, observer, and block there. Oh yeah, and then, uh, I forgot to put these observers there. Okay, I'm about to attach this side, but quickly, I'm going to add an observer there, a target there, then a target there. And now, I should close, then a little bit of the opening. Okay, so now we're going to build the 8 game tick slider here. The slab there, dust, target, hopper, two bears running out, into a block, piston, stair, observer facing down, block, Observer facing down, block, an observer here, piston there, and a piston there. Oops. And then, we're going to fix it. Okay, now we're going to do this slider. We put a sticky piston there, observer there, so make sure this is, uh, Transparent so that it doesn't power that dust. And then we put 
police there. And one, two, three, four observers running out from that. And then a dust here. So that that doesn't push up on the closing. Now we remove this observer here. Put two targets there. Get out your wiring for the bottom. Place the block there. Do a Peter. That's a two tick. Um, put the observer back. Then we want. Log a leaf. Observer there. Block tar uh sorry, hopper. Two observers. And then we put a note block here. And then we have a note block here to update that. And now when we test, make sure nothing broke. Yep, that should be locked. That should too. It'll do that. Now let's just fix that. So for the last few pulses of this door, you're going to want to put an observer there. A block there. Repeater. Observer block, redstone dust, and then now we can test this side. Now both sides work beautifully in sync. Okay, now we're on to the top. We'll start by putting two slabs there, two dust, a block, and then a rail to update that. So over here we put a block, dust, and a target. Then we can put a comparator, a furnace, and then 28 items. That'll give it 3 signal strength, which will just run up to here, but it won't actually power this pit from here. Then we put two blocks there, dust on top of both, block, and then a tripwire hook. Okay, now we're going to do some of the inputs and stuff here, so we want five blocks there. So you're going to be your wall block. Five dust, actually, sorry, that's not a dust, that's a comparator. Then, put three blocks there. Dust, dust, Peter on two tick. Then we take two slaps there, two dust. A sticky piston and a block here. We don't want a repeater that runs into that. Target there. An observer there. Sticky piston with a block there. Two observers there. And then from here we want a block. Two tick repeater into a slab with dust on it. Then we want an observer here with a piston facing that way. Sticky piston. Headstone block. Sticky piston. Another sticky piston. Observer on top with a block there. Two observers there. Repeater. Target. Slab. Block. Portic repeater. Man dust there. Okay, so we're going to finish off the top. First of all, this slab actually needs to be an observer. That's my bad. And then, over here, oops, put the campfire there, extinguish it with the shovel, 
putting observer there with the dock on top. Observer over here. Collab. The comparator on top. Okay, now that the top is done, you can test the whole thing. Just make sure to remove that block and push this ladder back up because it currently does, does, doesn't get pushed back up. And now that should all work, except this block which will be dealt with later in the bottom. Okay, now it's time for the bottom. So first we want to remove this obsidian. And then we want to go on to this zeotech generator here, which gets you once in the closing and then twice during the opening. So you add log leaf observer here. Lock dusk. Target here, target here. Sticky fist in there. This fist in there. Fist in there. Actually, this one's normal. That one's sticky. Then, redstone block there. Glass there. Fist in there. Fist in there with a note block. Sticky fist in there with an observer. Now we're gonna add observer there, hopper there, observer, block, block, also block there. Now come down here, place this and observer this. I'll just use temporarily later on. But now, we want a piston here, observer there. We want a piston here, and go down under here. Observer there, piston there, glass pane here, and then fix that. So now we're going to put an observer in there, obsidian there, leave there, piston there. In there, and then we're gonna go over here. Gonna move a bit of this floor. An observer running out from that note block. Observer there, and then another observer there. So now we're gonna want to go under here. Put the sticky fist in there. An observer there. That's slab. Here, the three tick repeater on top. Then we want to run out from this observer, or out from that note block, place observer there. Then remove that observer, place the observer there, and then place that back. Now you want to go around to the back. You're going to check to make sure that observer is there. If it's here, and just put it there. And then we have Place a hopper there, two observers there, and then a block there. Then we want to want to pick this bottom one, which will bot it through this block there, which is used on the closing. Now we can finally remove this temporary setup. We don't need that anymore. Now the last thing we have to do is place this lamp here, so this will get updated at the right time. Now we can test the door. And just like that it works. So now that you're done, you can just fill it in with whatever wall block you want. So you can just go in and then just go on.
some other important information about this door is this block here. Make sure that remains air. If this is underground, make sure you don't put anything there. Because uh, otherwise, in some locations, it may fail. The more important thing is that if you want to hook this up to an input, you want a dust line from this. But make sure not to run an input into this because it'll break that instant repeater. Okay, so this is the next day. I just finished recording all this and putting a ton of clips together to make this tutorial. And I realized I forgot one section, but I decided to wait till the next day because I wanted to go to bed. So, here is a small fix for any locationality with the with this slider here. It doesn't have enough micro ticks. So, to fix that, you put this piston facing upwards, a block, comparator, a furnace with one item inside. And then take a sticky piston here with a block there. And then you should have an extra micro take when depowering these two pistons all the way up to the slider. Anyways, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like. And if you really liked it, then subscribe. Anyways, bye.